cancer in general has pulled our family together, like, in a way that's hard to explain. Like, cancer in general brings people together, and everybody has an army. Like, they may not know who is in their army, because it might be people that are anonymous or just part of the cancer community in general. But, like, sometimes it just isn't as profound as this one where you wear shirts and everything. But everybody who's going through cancer has people behind them. It's, um, I do truly wish that I had her strength. I, you know, going through this three times, I don't, I don't know if I could do it. It's been amazing. She's a great woman. Um, you know, she's a great family mom. Her whole life is, revolves around her family. I think for me, um, I've just seen Marcy. I think I've seen her find her strength in all of this. She's not one to get you out there and, and and say. I have cancer, feel sorry for me. That's not Marcy. She's nice, and she doesn't care what you do. She still loves you no matter what. really amazing, I mean, uh, um, because, you know, physically the, the chemo is draining. But, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, all the events that the kids do, and our kids are very busy with all their sports and activities and friends. And So, yeah, it's amazing. I think that's what keeps her going, actually, to be honest. Because whenever you're like taking medicine or something, you can just think, well, my mom went through all this treatment and stuff, so I can do this little thing. It'll give you more of a positive attitude to when you do hard things, because she did it three times. And I looked at her and she goes, nope, I'm not having a pity party, and she just <laughs> kept moving. And that's one thing that Marcy is not one to just, she, mm -hmm. and having three kids too, you have to find that inner strength to get up in the morning and get moving. I think of herself, she thinks of others, so, I mean, just her perseverance is just tremendous. When I met them, I was at a swim meet for one of my other students, and I had heard that Marcy was, um, had just gone through treatment for breast cancer for the first time, and I'm a breast cancer survivor, and so we had this in common, and so I wanted to let her know that it was going to be okay. Because I don't have her like my friend, I have like my sister. And since I moved in, we have been together for everything and a lot of bad stuff. I mean, bad time and good times together. She'd always been real healthy. And the first... <laughs> first chemo treatment. And she said, this is called the Red Devil. She never put anything bad in her body. She was very, very helpful. Thank you. Very healthy person. She was so brave. Did it and you'll do it again. No matter how down she gets, she always bounces back up and she's got this competitive edge in her that is, is going to have her prevail. Marcy has taken it even a step further by being in triathlons and keeping herself fit even with this terrible disease um, and I just I'm so inspired by this because um, nothing stops her and I, I just think that's wonderful that she has that strength. I've done two triathlons this past summer August and then the August before that was Sammy and my sisters. Well, we heard you got your fight back in the last couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> Very competitive. Yeah. You need to put that competitive spirit yes. out there. Yes. You start racing people. <laughs> I think, in, you know, when the first, when we got diagnosed three weeks ago, whenever it was, yeah, but I think you're right. I think she's picked it back up, you know, and uh, is ready to go at it again. She's a very strong girl, very strong. Yeah. I feel lucky, but, but you know, every day we have together is great.